Oh dear. Morning. Please stop flashing. Thank you. I'm, I'm aware that I just got. I've just gone live. Thank you. Ooh. Uh, I have some terrible, awful, bad, bad, bad news. So the pen with the two capitalist llamas in them, they both disappeared. They're just gone. here are you gonna leave me too okay well um that happened that's obnoxious they really need to fix these guys uh actually i didn't even need to do that i can just do this come here cemetery donkey is going to a better place Come, come, donkey, donkey, come. Stubborn as a mule. I like this. I actually like that. Uh, <gasps> he's gone. There are ghosts. It's taunted. This whole town is haunted. Okay, whatever. Come on, more room for donkey. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Cool, now I have to go check on the rest of them. I've never had the problem with them appearing in this uh, single-player world. I mean, they disappeared on multiplayer servers, but... Uh, yeah, that was not the way I wanted to start this episode, actually. I've rather enjoyed collecting the capitalist llamas. Greetings, Luna. We're investigating the mystery of the disappearing llamas. Okay, well, all these guys are still here. This is what the problem was right here. I, I didn't have a door for the other llamas to play with, so they, they, they abandoned me. There's your greeting, Luna. <laughs> How do you like it? Also, how are you doing this morning? Imagine it's nearing the end of the day for you. You've been up for a while. I saw you on like three other streams. I can't believe all of the don uh, all of the the llamas have abandoned me. It's actually kind of convenient that you can slip right through there. Hey, well, okay. At least you got some good sleep. So, uh. Massive progress on Town Hall. It is absolutely huge. No intention of it being that big, but there it is. This, I don't know if this is going to stay like this. Like, originally I had planned for this to be, like, not an actual building. And I think I'll go back to that. Um, I keep this, and then use those and then just wipe out these walls this is not the plan for today I was going to go to the nether and farm some of the materials I need to finish the town. I was going to do that off screen. I would made the decision I'm going to go ahead and do that off screen. And then I realized I hadn't done my video editing for the week. Oops. Well, I did not have time to go to the nether. So if I actually want to do anything today, I have to go back to the nether.
But yeah, I'm glad you got some sleep finally, Luna. Sleep is important. Or so I am told. I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, sword and shield is coming. I, I have a brand new overlay for it, ready to go. Well, shield is coming. I'm not playing sword. Maybe I'll play sword. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, if it's just going to be open, I don't need this, do I? For one to play? Oh, yeah, um, yeah, that is definitely a thing that you can do is grind raids. Basically, as soon as you get to the the wild area, and you can really out-level the content. I remember that just from my, my first playthrough. Ah, what does this look like on this side? Not bad, actually. This is this on the outside. This on the outside. That's even with the end. The yeah, I'd be here. There. hour is finally a Japanese ditto. Um, okay, so you got the foreign ditto now to increase your shiny chances and your uh, IVs and stuff. Yeah, that was... I cheated a little bit. Uh, I had already gotten to the point where I don't think it mattered, uh, but I got somebody to give me a ditto. Because I hadn't been able to find one. Oh, I need however many more. Why am I missing a block there? Okay, it won't stay that way for long. Yeah, I, I literally just walked right off. Okay, there we go. Cool, give me all of this back. None of this is staying. See, I think I'm going to do my, my playthrough, and as soon as I get to... The breeding, the, the ranch, where whatever it's called, daycare. There we go. 
I may transfer some Pokemon via home so that I can breed uh, the ones that I want. I won't be able to catch all of them. Like I played Sword first because specifically because it had my favorite Pokemon in it. Open. Nope. Anything? Hmm. Rude. Okay, so I'm off work tonight. Thank you, Windows Updates. I'm off work tonight, so I have time. More time to stick around and do this than I normally would during the week. Falling down. That's it. Out of the way. I'm sick of this. There we go. You won't ever see the back side of that tree. <laughs> uh, uh, BB? You don't like BB or you don't like hop? BB has actual character development. Hop. I don't know. He's all right, but he's. I don't know. It's it's very realistic for somebody like Hop to and idolize his brother and be absolutely crushed by some of the events that happened to him. Like uh, he gets mauled by BB. <laughs> Spoilers. And that's exactly what Hop is meant. The annoying kid brother. <laughs> exactly what he's meant to be. I need Blackstone. And hmm. Nope, that's all the blackstone I have left. Seven blackstone. So let me count this out real quick because I don't I want to finish this before I leave to go do something else. Need one, two. Of those I need one, two, three, four solid blocks. Okay. Just enough. <laughs> I lost one battle time to die. Yeah, okay. It's not so much that he lost, because he loses to the player character a couple of times before that. It's how badly he lost and how he handled it. Uh, BB was absolutely correct in that he was not living up to his potential. He was goofing around, playing around. And it looked bad for his brother. And that, that absolutely shattered. The, the realization that it was time for him to grow up completely shatters him. Which I think he, he, he does it pretty well. Um, he does actually grow up pretty well by the end of it. But I still prefer BB's storyline, actually. That's not even supposed to be there.
Oh well. Yep. He he was the return of the cocky rival. Everybody wanted that. <laughs> and then they dress him in pink and give him fairies. I love it. All right, I don't have any more of the dark oak either. Ooh, I've got a lot of stuff to do today. So, grinding for a bit, building that house, which I have plans for. It's going to be tall, narrow and tall, like almost like a tower, but uh, not. It's going to be two stories. I had planned on doing a fishing shack down here. Um, might happen. Nothing back there is going to happen. I need to do something here. I don't know what. I need to do something over there. I don't know what. Maybe just tiny little houses. I don't know. We'll see. Got to finish this wall. Get around here. Greetings, Mukau. Thank you for the raid with 14 people. Demetrius, greetings. How are y'all doing? Let's see. Nope, that's not how you do the thing. I want to stay in the habit of doing this. Nope, well. That's also not how you do the thing. There we go. American Truck Simulator, right. <laughs> I have just gotten started for the day. Uh, sure, I mean, hang on. Is that actually her, her, uh, Dark Souls? Okay, yeah, I guess it is actually her thing. That's awesome. Greetings, A-Track. Well. Uh, I got any more iron? Have I used all my iron? Seriously? Oh, man, this, this project has emptied me of resources. Trying to build a spooky town here, and I keep running out of the blocks I need. Dangers of survival. Mukau X. Apparently there's a Mrs. Mukau as well. <laughs> ah, well. The only one in my chat is blue, and uh, I'm pretty sure they know. There we go. Come on. Keep bouncing. You'll get there eventually. God, I need a horse. I had some things here. No poker. Back in the house. Minecraft's going well. Uh, took a week off of Pokemon because I beat Earl. And I wanted to get set up for the next Pokemon stream shield. So I'm taking the time to get ahead on Minecraft. Working on my little spooky town. I keep falling off of buildings and lamenting about how I miss creative mode. Uh, we we had a little scare this morning as we have had we had the the capitalist llamas that I had captured. Uh, they they vanished before before my very eyes, and I was I'm convinced now that they were never really there and that they were actually ghosts. Mm. 
Oh, I need that. You're just in time for literally the most boring content you could imagine. I have to go farm more stuff because I'm out of everything again. Such as Minecraft. I don't actually need the axe. So I'm not going to take it. Level 100. Um. Hmm. I imagine it wouldn't listen to you. I imagine that it would just do its own thing like it does in previous games. This is my nether. You, you come out of the portal and step into oblivion. Uh, no, any, any, uh, any game in which you capture your own Pokemon, the, the ones you catch will always listen. The only traded Pokemon that don't listen. But I don't think there's an actual limit. Like, I don't think they, they... It'll just tell you, oh, you can't have that in your party. I just think they'll do it like, oh, hey, he just didn't listen to you. And oh, hey, he's loafing off. And oh, hey, he went to sleep. Uh, yes, train your starter up to level 100 before the second gym. Yes, we'll one shot everything. Good luck with that. Pretty sure it's possible, especially using uh, raids. You'd have to join other people's raids. Your own raids won't be that high. Uh, you won't get like four or five star raids until you get the eighth gym badge. So, um, I didn't do this, but I need to get in the habit of it. Greetings, people from uh, Mukao stream. I am Pepe Roni. I stream a lot of different stuff. Can't seem to make up my mind what I want to stream. The only thing that's been constant so far, I've stayed with Minecraft, and I've stayed with at least one Pokemon game going. I'm going to try and keep those going. I need to get back in the habit of streaming, like, retro on the weekends. And I want to stream... I want to get started streaming Mario Maker. I've been promising to do it, and I just keep putting it off. I have plans for some Mario Maker this weekend. Um, I'm going to try and do... Oh boy. I'm going to try and do viewer levels, but it's going to be Ghost House only. <laughs> we'll see how well that goes. I don't know so much of this is a challenge. Um... I will have a disclaimer up that if I don't like your level, I will boo it. <laughs> I don't I don't believe in forcing streamers to like every level. Especially when I'm the streamer. Like one of my most hilarious moments was the very first time I was ever in Code Phoenix's chat. Uh IJS goaded me into sending him one of my worst levels. And Phoenix spent maybe five minutes on it, booted it, banned it from ever being entered in his queue again, and moved, and it moved on. And I was cackling the whole time. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, I'd spend about 20 seconds on that before I booted and moved on, Luna. Like I may I may implement a t uh, timer on levels just to keep from spending 30 minutes on a level cuz I'm bad about that if I want to beat a level I will spend forever on a level. But uh, if I'm not enjoying a level, no guarantee that I'll play it for the entire 20 minutes. I know I'm a jerk, I mean, but the only way I can keep 
Sanity. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe, because, like, some levels you die really fast on, and some levels you can, like, my levels in particular, I'm bad about making long levels that you basically time out on, rather than die on, and 30 lives in, you know, I want a blue popotamus for Christmas, uh, if it takes you 30 lives to beat it, could take two hours, you know? Maybe a, a hybrid, 20 minutes or 20 lives, whichever comes last, I guess. I don't know. But, like, I, I, I won't even do Kaizo shell tricks anyway, so if I get the kind of levels that would murder you within five seconds, I probably won't even finish them. Won't even attempt them. Oh, no, that one's down. 47 minutes. Yeah, yeah, there, there is definitely sunk cost fallacy going on there. I did that with one of Neo's levels, Neo Ridia. Fortunately, I didn't have anybody else in the queue, but I spent 45 minutes on one of these levels, and I got to the last jump twice, <laughs> and I was so frustrated that I had to stop. Oh well, how are we enjoying this thrilling content that I absolutely meant to do off screen and totally forgot to do because uh, I'm a horrible person. I literally can't do anything in the town without more of this block. Um, that is not true, Luna. A 1% level is 1 out of 100 lives. Uh, 1 out of 30 is what? 30, roughly th uh, 3%? 3% uh, level, I would, have, I would have no problem doing a 3% level on stream. I would enjoy that. That's about my comfort zone, actually. Yep. It is sort of chilling and soothing. That's that's exactly why I like this game. It's why I like... It's one of the things I like about survival mode in this game is this. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's not, like, riveting gameplay by any means. But it's, like, it's the same reason you play Stardew Valley, basically. You know, just sort of simple repetition. And this is a bit better than branch mining, because in branch mining, there's absolutely no chance of a gas spawn fireballing you. Yo, Michael, how are you doing today? Good morning to you. And for anybody else who doesn't know, Michael is... A really cool guy. He does family-friendly streams, which are hard to come by these days. I am doing well, thank you. I am off for the next two days, so I'm very hype about that. This is my hype voice. <laughs> I like the way those glow without actually emitting light. Emote. 
I've, I've planned out a whole bunch of different emotes. I don't actually have a hype emote, now that I think about it. That is one I need to work on. Like, we got the, the party emote, which is sort of what I use as a hype emote. Another one down. Tell you what, I'm gonna actually swap over to the blackstone because I need blackstone. Oh my god, why is my phone exploding? Ah. My friend, I sent her encouraging texts this morning because she needed it. basic pizza email. I actually need to replace that one. I'm um, coming up on 60 streams as affiliate here soon. And as soon as I get the automated emote approval stuff, I'm going to mix up some of my emotes and put them in the correct slots. Like I've got my tier two uh, emote in my tier three slot right now. And I just don't feel like waiting two weeks for them to approve them again. So. Poke call or a move. <laughs> I was like having issues up against the Elite Four on Pearl, where I was using like 95 accuracy moves and I missed three times in a row, and they hit me like I think it was four times in a row with a 70 accuracy move, and I was calling so much garbage on that. <laughs> But then, I mean, I'm the crazy person who decided to beef up my Elite Four by boosting the randomizer settings 10%. Like, oh yeah, sure, I'll just casually go up against Cynthia with level 75 pseudo-legendary. While my entire team is level 50. I didn't bring anything to kill you with. Well, this is going to be obnoxious. I can't even hit you with the pickaxe. I can't get close enough. Do you despawn? Nope. This one of mobs in the nether been persistent. Alright. I've got a sword somewhere. Always take my axe. That work. All right, axe it is. Um. Quite a lot of basalt, not as much black stuff. Oh, flinch axing. Oh, yeah, that's rough. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, that happened. I couldn't hit it through the portal. Good thing I have keep inventory on. <laughs> Good time for a raid, Pappy. <laughs> I'm getting bodied by a uh, giant magma cube. Let me get back over here and I will do the shout out thing. Muko with the hype. Donnie, welcome back. Cool. Happy. <laughs> I can't, like, 
our breakfast hostess uh, at the at work. We've got a group of twenty or so Japanese businessmen who stay with us long term, and their main person. Okay, he fell down. Finally, probably him over there. Their main person uh, that does most of their communication for them. He speaks a little bit of English, but not a lot. And she has a very thick southern accent. <laughs> you know, much thicker than mine, even. So, she can't say his name. I think it's, uh, you know, I'm not even going to venture it. But she calls him Pappy. <laughs> Pappy! Uh, I don't think it's the the best. Uh, I'm 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 learning, always trying to improve. But thank you for the compliment. <laughs> uh, is it you? Are you staying at our hotel, Pappy? <laughs> Are you streaming from hotel Wi-Fi? <laughs> oh, I, would, I don't even want to think about what that would look like. That would be horrible to try and watch. Like, I, I sometimes actually drop uh, streams while I'm watching st uh, uh, on the hotel's Wi-Fi. Bowser heart email. <laughs> That's nice. I do. I actually like Bowser. Um, the pro controller I have for the Switch is a Bowser controller with his with him on it. I will actually get started building something here in a minute. Got two more pickaxes to go through. I'm sick of having to come back here every other stream, so I want to get a lot of this done. Like, the goal is to mine so much here that I don't have to come back here that I'll have actually too much. Don't break the stream this time. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. So, I figured what I did is. I've got the the Pokemon overlay set up um, like you've got all your scenes set up in OBS, but I have different uh, scenes labeled and you have to go into the menu and manage them and then go to the next one. Instead of just swapping scenes like I don't have them in the same little tab and when it does that it reloads OBS, which is what kicked me offline. Yeah, it, it, it kicked me offline when I changed it. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to toss you over to a different channel now because I'm embarrassed. <laughs> well, the, the, the worst part... The worst part is I didn't notice for a minute or so when I was talking about going on the raid... Before I realized I wasn't live, I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, like, technology is wonderful and great until it stops working. And then it's just the worst thing ever. Also, how chill is this music? One of the things I'm wanting to do, like, um, I'm wanting to invest some more money into improving my internet. Right now I have the cheapest possible plan with Comcast because they have a monopoly in this area. They're the only internet provider I can use. 
and I'm wanting to boost my upload. Because right now I'm. D don't judge me for this. I have two megabytes of upload. Two. Yeah, Comcast. What I have to deal with. I don't like them. Their customer service is practically non existent. But they are the only viable ISP in town. Like, it's that or huge net. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Okay, four gigabytes a month for $250. Uh, no, thank you. My phone does better than that. Thanks. Like, I don't have problems with their actual service. Like, I never have an outage with Comcast. So there's that going for them. It's just... I have their worst possible package. I wouldn't even have this, actually. I wasn't going to have internet. I hadn't had internet in almost seven years. An expense I never felt I needed. But, um... They've transitioned my sister's job to work from home. And she's been afraid for a while now that she would have to have a separate IP address for her roommate because they have they work in the same place and they're not supposed to. They don't want to get in trouble for running on the same IP address. So the plan was to get me on internet over here and my sister would come over and use my living room as a home office, basically. Eight hours a day. Uh, that never happened. And I'm stuck with a contract for 12 months of internet. So... But hey, I got to stream. Gotta make a pizza. That is a valid reason for leaving. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I mean, hmm. Like, if you go five miles uh, west of here into the next town, they have something called charter cable which we have uh, with Comcast I think they do a 25 megabyte down and uh, 2 megabytes up and then they do the 50 and 5 and a 110 I actually want the 110 package but the 110 package is $70, $80 a month just for the internet and that's only if you take a 2 year contract for charter, uh, they're 100 gig, uh, 100 megabyte down. They also offer, ooh, they also offer a a gigabyte package where Comcast does not in this area. But their 100 100 meg plan for charter is like 50 bucks. It's a lot cheaper. It's just five miles, five miles difference. Outside city limits. Yo, uh, Rusty, how you doing? Oh, we're just chilling and talking and mining some stuff because I'm out of everything I need to build my town. Uh, you know, you can go back to doing this until the pickaxe breaks, and I'll call it. How are you? How have you been? Up or 20 down and five up. Yeah, see this. 
I wouldn't care about my 25 down. Uh, it serves me perfectly fine. It's the two megabytes up that's killing me. I cannot upload videos to YouTube at home. <laughs> it just takes too long. I've literally been uploading all of my YouTube videos from work. Which is really obnoxious when I'm putting out three or four videos a day. Ooh, yeah. Stay safe, man. Yeah, the hurricane is coming directly for me as well. But I've got a couple of days before it hits me. Oh, yeah, like my biggest complaint with Comcast ever was um, they hit me with. I called it a bogus charge and I disputed it and finally got it removed off my bill. I canceled their service, returned their equipment, and they sent me a bill the next month. Like, uh, hello, I turned all of your stuff off. So they promised they would fix it and take care of it and all this and then, you know, run me through circles 20 times over. And I got confirmation from them, a, a letter that they sent that said that they had canceled my service. Next month come around, I got a second bill with two charges on it showing 30 days past due. Called them back. Nope. It says you're right here that your service is disconnected. That bill was uh, probably pre-generated. Don't worry about it. Don't think nothing about it. Okay. Third month rolled around. I got a notice saying that they had uh, reported my delinquent debt to the credit card agency or the credit agencies and that they had already hit my credit. Yeah, I went ballistic. I got them to reverse off the charges, and they swear that they contacted the credit agencies and told them that they needed to fix my credit score back. They didn't. So, come three or four years later, when I'm talking to my bank about getting a personal loan, oh, well, it shows right here that you had a uh, debt collection called in from Comcast. So we can't give you a loan. Yeah. And then I went seven years without internet because I was that annoyed with Comcast. Dang it. The worst part of survival. Falling off everything and having to pillar back up. Well, that wasn't where I wanted that to go. It is the Walmart of internet, and I am currently banned from all Walmarts, so. <laughs> like I said, I only had it because somebody else promised to pay the bill and didn't. And now I'm under contract for it. So I might as well use it. Or she's ended up, uh, what she ended up having to do is she got a business line put in because, I mean, she's working from home. She can write it off as a tax expense. She got a business line set in with two dedicated IPs so that uh, her and her roommate are on different IPs at now. So uh, what did I come over here for? Came over there for a reason. Now I don't know why. That wasn't what I wanted. Don't have a pickaxe to break it. <laughs> I broke all my pickaxes. Oh yeah, I've gone... I went seven years without internet, and then I went... Um, 
I think I'm on year 13 or 14 of no television. Like, I still watch uh, Netflix and stuff. Go over to the fams for that. Looking forward to Mandalorian coming out soon. We just caught up on season one of Mandalorian. It was so good. Like we, do, we actually like old westerns, <laughs> so it's it's literally a western set in space. It's so good. Little cliche with a couple of plot holes and a really awful, terrible, brain dead villain. You know, but whatever. Uh, did I have any coal in here? I thought I had coal in here. I do have coal in here. <laughs> you know, I don't watch as much TV as I used to. I got big on YouTube for a while. Like, I would use my phone's data on YouTube every month. Weirdly enough, watching people play Minecraft, mostly. Oh, that's the wrong thing. That and uh, all of that. Meanwhile, back at the motel. Well, you sleep well. Thank you for the raid. Here. This is far more what I had in mind. Just an open barn instead of an actual church-looking building. Just a place to come and have a ceremony if it's raining, basically. All this was meant. Uh, ooh, I don't have no toy space. Inventory management in this game is second only to, like, actually having to grind for materials in terms of annoying. Okay. Start building something. You're not going to disappear on me, are you? I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, I'm running away now. I fear the I fear the donkey's wrath. That does make games like this somewhat annoying. Um, I have a small muscle uh, condition, like that affects my actual. Uh, Small muscle groups. That's that's what that meant. One of the things that's affected is the muscles in my my hands. I will misclick all day long, where I'm just standing still and I'll click the mouse. I'm not even trying to click the mouse or not moving the mouse. Just and I'll click it because I actually can't hold my fingers up over the buttons. They tire out pretty easy. Uh, well, let's just make some. Now give me a whole stack.
And the muscle sling is one of those, uh, one of those things. Two, three, one, oh. I did this on an odd number. Hmm. I don't actually like them on an odd number. I'll go back and fix that in a minute. The muscle thing is one of those things that uh, isn't a problem most of the time. Most people can't see it. It manifests in, like, I trip a lot. <laughs> I cannot keep my ankles straight. I'm I'm horrible to trip over my own feet like that. It's not so much clumsy. It's just I have very weak ankles. It can be infuriating. Now, the other thing is I drop everything constantly. I have no grip. Do you like that? <laughs> can I do that? Is that legal? Is that allowed? Am I allowed to do that? I haven't had to do a corner anywhere. The one corner I did here, I hated so much, I literally ripped the entire corner out. And just never went back. <clears> hmm. <throat> How about if I do this? Nope, I don't like that either. I mean, do I just do it square? It's a little boring, but it works. And it gives me a nice odd number here for a path. So yeah, I think uh, I think this is what I'm doing. Mm, fair enough. Okay, so this building's not going to stay right where the outline is. I don't want to do that. Oh, yeah. That's nowhere near enough space. This is going to have to move. Like, I almost wanted to go back far enough that it's even with this at the front. So three more blocks. Give me this the same five here for the path. Which is actually a little tight if I start doing this. I mean, no, it's not. It's, you still have three blocks here. This wall is actually about to end. I'm not going to go much further this direction. In fact, how did I do this over here? For a start, I gotta change this. There. And that one stays. I like that a lot better. I like it offset. 